Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, demo video for photometric stereo. Uh, in this video, uh, I will show how to create a 3D object using the photometric stereo. Uh, here, we will use the multiple images taken from different angle and lighting condition to reconstruct the 3D object. This is the example of what we want to do. And then, uh, specifically, I will uh, show you how to uh, how to process the six input image in uh, grid scale image with BMP format and like source in the TXT format and then we we use them to create the 3d mesh file in the uh, PLY format and then here I will use the Google Colab to make the compi compiler time more faster this is the example image that we will use first we have uh, the bunny image six six grid scale bunny image and then we also have a uh, star image and then a uh, finest image here we have different different scale so before we process we need to make the scale is same and then uh, before before i go to the uh, the program let me give a uh, like a uh, brief overview about the photometric stereo and uh, basically the photometric stereo is a technique for estimate that the dish surface normal of an object from multiple images taken with the different lighting condition uh, by analyzing how the brightness of each pixel change we can infer the orientation of the surface at that point and reconstruct a 3d shape for before we go uh, we need to install the recovery library using uh, pip pip and we will use open 3d to create a point cloud so we need to install uh, the open 3d library here and then after that uh, we will define the image size which should uh, match the size of the input image as 120 and 120 and then we also need to import uh, some library from from OpenCV. we can directly import this library because we using collab so we don't need to we don't need to install and then after that we can just run this code to implement our library and then our uh, input image and then uh, we prepare some function to visualize the mass the normal map and the deep map this function will help us to check the quality of the reconstruction of 3d shape the first is uh, the read bmp function uh, will read uh, in grayscale image in dot bmp format and set the global variable and return the image as a numpy array and then for the max visualization function uh, is used to read a grayscale image in the uh, we will take a binary binary mass m and in the m variable and show it as a grayscale image using a matplotlib function and then uh, the normal visualization will take a normal map in the n variable and display it as an uh, RG, RGB image using matplotlib mat function and then for the last we also to visualize we also have a uh, depth visualization function it will take a depth map in the D variable and show it as a grayscale image with a color bar using matplotlib also and then this function also add a color bar to the plot to indicate the distance to the camera and then after that we also uh, prepare some function to save and show the PLY file the first uh, we have the save PLY file it it take a depth map of Z and save a point cloud in a, a PLY format to the specific file path this function also set any zero value pixel in Z variable to a small baseline value to ensure all points are in front of the camera and then finally this function uh, save the point cloud to the specific file path in PLY format and then for the show PLY function basically this function just take the file path as an input and show the point cloud stored in the file using the open 3d library and then uh, we have normal we have another two important function here the first is normal and max and the second is the depth here i will 
uh, going to, to the normal and uh, max variable here uh, basically we have some step the first is we uh, we need to read and process the image uh, basically uh, this code is used to read uh, six BMP images as I say before and then the image are convert to a numpy array and received to have six and a uh, flattened columnar representation of pixel value and the result is stored in a variable called uh, i variable and then the second we also need to uh, normalize the like director vector and the like director vector l in the l variable is made sorted by divide its component by uh, it's a U, uh, Euclidean normalization and then uh, transported like direction factor is stored in the variable called LT and then uh, the third step we also need to uh, estimate the surface normal here uh, the code to estimate the surface normal is uh, by computing the pseudo inverse of the dot product of the LT variable and L variable and then the dot product of the LT and I is compute and the estimate surface normal value are obtained by multiplying this result and then finally uh, the values can be normalized and transposed to obtain the final estimate surface normal matrix in the n variable and then uh, later on we also need to creating the max uh, the, the binary mask is created using uh, numpy where where the function with returns a mask of one second where uh, the pixel value in the first image uh, of uh, emg variable are not equal to zero and a mask of zero s everywhere else and the resulting mask is stored in a mask variable and then for the last step we just visual the result using normal visualization and max fields visualization that we already uh, make before and then uh, we also have the depth depth map function there are also some process here uh, the first is we need to uh, we need to reshape we need to reshape the input surface normal normal map in the n variable here and then we also uh, need to find the pixel in the object and the function is to identify all the pixel that belongs to the object by using the binary mask and then the indices of the pixel in the object are stored in two separate array means uh, obg h and obgw and then we also need to create an index for the pixel uh, 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 this index is created to, to map its pixel in the object to its corresponding row in the matrix m and this index is stored in a 2D array index where the value at uh, H and W represent the row index in M corresponding to the pixel at H and W in the binary mask. And then after that, we also need to uh, constructing the system of equation. Uh, basically, here this function con construct a linear space linear system of MX equals to V using the surface normals and pixel indicates of the object uh, the the mx equals to v means the sparse uh, sparse linear system of equation is used to compute the depth values of z and then uh, for the matrix m here is in uh, is initial initially initially initialized as a sparse metric of size uh, 2 by 9 pixel and uh, multiple by 9 pixel and then where the 9 pixel is the number of pixel in the object and the factor V here is uh, initialized as a zero factor of size of 2 multiple by 9 pixel by 1 and then for each pixel in the object the function computes the indicates of its neighboring pixel and construct the corresponding row in m and v based on the surface normal of the neighboring pixel 
and then here we also have the MTM and MTV uh, MTM here is means the the product of the transpose of M and M and then MTV here is the product of the transpose of M and V and then we also have Z variable here uh, to solve the system of equation mx equal to v for z using the parse solver parse solver sp solve and then for the last uh, we uh, we also need to insert the compute deep values of z in the uh, idx variable into the z matrix at position h and w and uh, this system of equation is used to solve the depth value z of x pixel in the object and then last we also need to generate the uh, the, the depth image here using the visualization uh, the, the depth values are inserted into the z using the pixel in the size stored in the uh, obg h and obgb uh, v it's mean height and weight of the object and the resulting depth map z is then visualized using the depth visualization function finally the function returns the depth map of z and then after that we direct we can directly input the lighting source lighting source of the of the star image of the star image and then we can input uh, the star image uh, first before we start this line we need to upload the sample image of the star bunny and venus in the left side because we use we use google, google collab so i need to import the input file first uh, okay we start for the uh, star image basically this is the lighting source we directly write the lighting source in the code and then i uh, upload the image to process using the function that we already make before and then uh, as you can see uh, this is this is the output of the star image this is the normal map of the star image is and then this is the max image and then this is the depth map image as you can see is much much better than what we have before and then uh, from here we can improve some uh, depth, image, depth image of the uh, star image and then we also uh, implement in the bunny image here we can uh, we can run it again to show the result of the bunny image here this is the result of the bunny image as you can see we can get the normal map is much much better that we doing before uh, this is the result of normal image and then mass image and for the depth image also as you can see here we know which point has the most the more uh, more higher for the 3d surface for the for the depth image in here and then uh, if we if we try in the Venus in the Venus uh, image the result will be different as you can see here for the normal image is not quite good in the uh, outside area in the surface area is not it's not quite good and then this is the max image and then also for the depth image as you can see we almost cannot recognize the uh, the outset area of the Venus image and then that's why for the Venus image we need to add uh, some different function here so I make a new function for the tab image that only use in the Venus image so we can run it again and this is the step that I add here I add this step after solving the uh, sparse linear system where uh, it used to check if any of the depth values are below a certain threshold or a negative maximum depth and then I set those depth values to the negative maximum depth and the z variable holds the depth value for each pixel in the object and this can be useful to remove outlier depth values that may have result from errors in the calculation or measurement of surface normals which can assure especially at the object boundaries or conclusion occlusion as you can see here this is this is the result before this is the result before we 
uh, we run, we add that that step, and then this is the result after uh, we add that step. As you can see here, for the outside image is much better than before, and also for the depth image we can we can see we can see more uh, more better compared with previous, and then we can know where is the the point that have higher higher surface for this uh, Venus image and then after we get that image uh, from this code it's also a uh, produce the .ply file so this is the output of the bunny and the star and the Venus we can download it directly and save to our directory then this is the body and star and Venus uh, we can just show the output of our uh, PL by file. Uh, here we use the the program to open the PL by file is a uh, uh, mesh lab. Yeah, mesh lab. As you can see here, this is the .pl by file that we produce from the uh, bunny image. You can see it's much 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 better than what we doing before. As you can see, we know, yeah, it's it's so detailed. Which surface has more higher surface? The point, the uh, the point cloud can be show directly and so clear compared with previously. And then uh, another one. This is the PLY file for the star image. Here we we can see if we just see this almost we almost can recognize, but. We can we can just easy to rotate here. We can see the the star image. They from the from the black thing. They also only have a few higher uh, the few higher point cloud for the surf for the this surface. So from this image, we just we can see that uh, our our result is pretty good compared with previously. And then for the last for the Venus, after this is the result after we add. After we add some uh, some process here, uh, this is like the be the best result from Venus and PLB file that we produce. As you can see from here, we can uh, we can see directly it's, it's so clear for the for the Venus image. We, we can see uh, the reconstruction of the 3D of the uh, of this Venus is quite good. As you can see here, we can know which uh, which part that have most higher uh, surface in this uh, 3D 3D output of the PLY file and yeah it's much much better than what we produced before and uh, I think this is the best that we can do from uh, to show the three PLY file for the bunny and the star and the uh, Venus image so uh, here I will also send the PLY file and the, and the code directly and I uh, and I think that's it what I can show for the explanation and the demo video for reconstruct the 2D image as uh, 3D image in the uh, PLV format in the star and bunny and the Venus image okay uh, thank you for your attention see you